Hello everyone, this is Surbhi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate spontaneous vaginal delivery. Today, I'm going to demonstrate spontaneous vaginal delivery. She is mother and uh, this is representing womb of the mother. In some cases, vaginal delivery is kind of difficult. So good to go with the episiotomy. But only when the fetal head is visible in the diameter of 3 to 4 centimeters. So, this is the favorable condition for the episiotomy. Let's perform it. To perform episiotomy, firstly, we have to insert two fingers between the perineum and the fetal head and run our scissor downwards away from the rectum vertically and laterally both. As now fetal head is visible, so we can perform the regions manual. For regions manual, we should take a sterile towel to apply pressure over the baby chain, baby chain, and uh, use the second hand to apply pressure over the occiput so that baby speed of delivery can control and baby can come out. Now we should use both our hands to hold baby's head from the temporal area and try to pull it out. Now pull the baby in a way that anterior shoulder comes out first, basically the downward traction. As anterior shoulder comes out, now grab the baby with the head and move upward. Apply the upward traction so that posterior shoulder can come out also. Now when shoulders are out, grab the ankles of the baby from the other hand and pull baby out. As soon as baby is delivered, we are supposed to keep over the mother. Take a sterile towel. Try to clean and dry the baby. As baby is stable now, we should check for pulsation before clamping. There is no pulsation in umbilical cord, so we can do clamping now. First clamp we should apply 2 cm away from the baby and second clamp we should apply 5 cm away from the base. Now with the help of a sterile scissor, cut the umbilical cord in between. As uh, clamping of the cord and cut is done, now it's time to deliver the placenta. After the cord is clamped and cut, there is signs that can show the placenta is uh, separated from the womb. Signs like gush of blood, lengthening of the cord and the abdomen will be the globular. Now if uh, there is calcin sign is present, so pull out the placenta, it will come out with the gush of blood. Rotate it and pull it out. Once placenta is delivered, it's time to check the placenta now. Check the placenta for any abnormality like uh, check for all three vessels, two arteries and uh, one vein. It looks fine. Now after delivery, look in the mother's vagina. Check the vaginal wall for any lacerations and um, before winding up we should repair the incisions and uh, after that uh, apply a gentle pressure over the abdomen 
to feel that uterus is contracting or not. So here baby is delivered and now let's check the heartbeat of the baby. Everything seems normal. Baby and mother both are doing well. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. And the most important thing, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.